it's like happens in a I don't know but I think it's a southern thing because uh in Brazil, we are also like this, you know, like, no, oh, come over, I'll introduce you my cousin. And, yes, yes. <laughs> and the cousin yeah, uh, the, knows the, someone the else. The customs and cultures from in, the, in South America, they are not too far from the Middle East. I, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I used to have a lot of friends from South America, really? in the United States, mm -hmm. and I studied with them. And, I, uh, you know, I, yeah. I came to that conclusion. That yeah, we, I difference. think, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. We, we yeah. speak loud. We, we want, yeah. uh, we like to party we like to have friends uh, around and uh, we eat loud we eat a lot and uh, yeah it was a uh, and then now the last uh, two nights I spent on a uh, no last night and the night before the day after the day of yesterday I spent uh, with uh, with the brain at his place with his family and uh, yeah they are very nice people yeah I'm very happy to have this friend yeah but anyway what happened in city Buzid on 17th of December of 2010 so one more time yes so uh, what happened it started with one of the street vendors who is uh, whose name is uh, Boazizi uh, he was trying to use the street uh, in order to to uh, uh, sell his articles and he was uh, stopped by a police woman which belongs to the municipality police sector and uh, prevented him from using the street to do so and this uh, kind of uh, querel dispute has uh, uh, developed to an humiliation from the policewoman to Bazizi. Uh, things which has led to set fire on himself. And that was the starting point of the revolution. Okay? In Arabic, please. Well, uh, الانطلاقة كانت عندما كان أحد الباعة الباعة المتجولين المستعملين الطريق العام عندما حاولت إحدى رجال إحدى نساء المنتميات لسلك الأمن البلدي أو الشرطة البلدية ما حاولت منعهم من استعمال الطريق باعتبار أن الطريق ليس مؤهلا للاستعمال من قبل الباع المتجولين بالطريقه التي كان يستعملها وتطورت وتطور الامد والخصام بين الطرفين الى ان شعر ذلك الباع وهو البوعزيزي بنوع من الغبن مما ادى الى اشعال النار في نفسه وكانت تلك شراره الانطلاقه للثوره التونسيه. Thank you. Unless you one last favor. I'll ask you. To read this. And tell me. What do you think of that? And if you think this is a, an accurate view of. Do uh, you need more light?
Ja. Okay. Yeah, I read it. Yeah, I read it. Yeah. What do you so think? You, you want me to compare what I said to what I read, right? If you can, uh, we can, if we can do so, we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, I, I, I just want, uh, I want to know your impressions. I yes, don't want to tell no, you what to do. Yes. No, no, it's all right. Uh, of course, there are a lot of details which are very important, which can be true also. And I think uh, what I said, uh, it's. Uh, uh, I gave you just the general information about the event, but the specific details, which was narrated by uh, the lady, uh, uh, which can be true also. I mean, but the, I don't see any contradiction between what she said and I said. That's why I I try to give a general description of the event without entering into the details, because that may lead to some kind of. Uh, uh, inconsistent information or erroneous, you know, incorrect information. But I think uh, uh, both narration, what I gave to you and what she said, uh, there is no fundamental conflict or fundamental uh, uh, contradiction. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Do you have another five minutes or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I will ask you another favor then, and then this is actually the last one, I promise. It's all right. <laughs> um, I'd like to ask you, these are um, Western newspapers, but uh, just for predictions, of course, of some um, articles that were published by the time and a little bit after the revolution. Um, I will ask you to read just a few bits of that. Most of them are, are, are highlighted and uh, maybe you could start from this bit here and I will give you some more. Is that right? And I'm recording you. Uh, well, I'm recording the whole thing and then it's obvious that you are reading something, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll ask you to read out loud ah, okay. for the camera, yeah. No. Her 26-year-old 20, street trader son has been lodged in the world's memory too after his unhappy life and terrible death by self-immolation became, became the tragic symbol of a nation suffering in the hands of a dictator's brutal and unforgiving, unfor unforgiving regime. It was this act of despair Goes the narrative, which triggered the uprising in Tunisia, and heralded, heralded the seismic regional shift that has become known as the Arab Spring. Good. Can you read this one? Yeah. For her part, Fadi Hamdi, the municipal employee accused of hitting Mr. Boazizi, considers herself yet another victim of the system. She had spent three months in jail before being found not guilty and hurt at her trial. The prosecution produced only one witness who supposedly saw the infamous slap and he was discredited under cross-examination. Okay, mm -hmm. I will ask you to read another beat. Mm. I like this one. This one. <coughs> These acts by single human beings at pivotal junctures of history are impossible to predict. However, when they occur, these one time expressions of the human will to live in freedom, dignity, and rights should be recognized correctly as reflecting sentiments that beat mightily and daily. In the hearts and the hearts of tens of millions of their compatriots. You want to read again? The whole, the whole, uh, yes, please. Yeah, these acts by single human beings at pivotal junctures of history are impossible to predict. However, when they occur, these one-time expressions of the human will to live in freedom, dignity, and rights should be recognized correctly as reflecting sentiments that beat mightily and daily in the hearts of tens of millions of their compatriots. 
-hmm. Let's find another one. So you have a chance to find somebody read English, huh? otherwise you won't, you won't give this to other... Uh, uh, I asked a few people already. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, every, every, every person that I interviewed that uh, speaks English, uh, I asked... Uh, ask them to read that. To, to read that. In so you want me to read this part? Yes, please. Just the top one, yeah? The top one, yeah. 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 Now, on the, on the morning of December 17th, when other vendors say Mrs. Hamdi tried to confiscate Mr. Bouaziz's fruit, and then slapped him in the face for trying to yank back his apples, he became the hero, now the martyred hero, and she became the villain, the villain in the remarkable swirl of events in which Tunisians have, ri have risen up to topple a 23-year-old 23 dictatorship and march on demanding radical changes in their government. It's a nice story, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Mm. Um, this last one. Sometime around noon, on the two-lane street in front of the governor's high gate, the vendor drenched himself in paint. Thinner then lit himself on fire. A doctor at the hospital where he was treated said the burns covered 90% of his body. By the time he died, on January 4th, protests that started over Mr. Bouaziz's treatment in Sidi Bouzid had spread to cities throughout the country. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your yeah. time. I believe you're very busy and uh, well, I appreciate yeah, nice you taking you. your time. Nice yeah. meeting you. And um, of course, I will keep you posted of uh, the developments of the work. Yeah, yeah. And what's, uh, your, what's your uh, my email? I give yeah, you. Let me get your yeah, I'll write it down. You, do you have a Facebook page? I have. Do you? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. I love everyone in Tunisia. Just uses Facebook, and uh, you guys make a much more political uh, use of uh, Facebook than uh, than I do, for instance. Mm -hmm. I'll give you this one, and then you can have it here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you.